Come on through. What are you selling? <laughs> I'm not selling anything. But well, I do have posters for the, uh, the Steampunk Festival on, on Quinn's birthday. Oh, the Steampunk Festival. That's pretty extraordinary, isn't it? We're going to go yeah, and have a look there fairly shortly. Absolutely. So that's a good way to get people down here to experience the old Victoriana. And it is. It's amazing. Yeah, um, excellent. It's an amazing setting and uh, it's really cool. What's the big attraction? Uh, well, can you not see? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's a retro Victorian. It fits so beautifully in amongst all this um, Victorian architecture, um, which Yomaru is renowned and known for. Yeah. And so uh, it, we found that steampunk fits in very nicely, being a Victorian genre as well. And it gives people accessibility to um, to the inventive side, to the creative side. A lot of young people as well as um, oh, it's, actually it's across the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. It really is. So it, it's got a lot to do with the, the punk music kind of thing. No, it's really um, sort of no, it's a, a bit it's goth a or no? It, it, yeah, the only thing it's more steam, less punk. <laughs> yeah. So it, it attracts the kind of goth thing though, doesn't it? Um, well, brown goth in some yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, there is a there is a gothic element, but there's also a um, a, a wonderfully sutorially elegant. Uh, side of it too. Yeah, gentlemen tend to dress up finer, and uh, <laughs> we find that the ladies do like that. Right, I see Mad Max is coming back. He seemed to specialise in that sort of thing, didn't he? Well, it's sort of the, the cyber. He was more cyberpunk, I think. You know, sort of that, yeah. that sort of devastating. Uh, after effect of a, a technological world gone horribly wrong. And, That's right. Yes, <laughs> Apocalypse then. Yeah. <laughs> whereas we tend to sort of more gravitate towards a retro Victorian future um, where um, technology is based on steam. So you can still have things like your camera and your iPod and, and things like this, but it would look like it was actually powered by something other than a lithium battery. Right. And it had a little bit more decoration to it so that it didn't look like it was a easily insertable. Um, device. Right, so sort of a, a retro anti technology in a yeah, way. Yeah, there is that. There Not is. quite Aerofon. Yeah, that, that is true. The, there's an element of we need to be able to repair it, get inside it, have a fiddle with it. And not, do our own modifications. Right, not, not wait for the computer technician to upload the new software. Yeah, if you can do it. Well, up, update the software cog. <laughs> yeah. Excellent.